All right, I'm gonna go over adding the navigation menus to our theme. So uh, right now I have a whole bunch of pages and stuff like that just as, as examples. And you'll notice that they'll automatically be added up here. Don't worry once you add these, once you set up the navigation menus, you'll be able to customize these. And if you don't want any pages up there, you can just leave them blank. So let's dive right in and then you can see what I mean. So under appearance and menus, <clears throat> you'll start off with everything will be kind of blank because you need to add some menus. So let's just go ahead and call our first one main navigation. And then we'll actually click this plus because we're going to add a second navigation, which is called, uh, we can, you can call it whatever you want, but let's just call it the one top navigation. And I'm going to open up the website in a second tab so you can kind of, we can tab back and forth. So the top navigation will be this black bar. And then the main navigation will be in the, the red color. <coughs> so um, how do we assign these is under theme locations. So primary will be the main. And then header top will be top navigation. So it's pretty easy. And then once you click save, then your menus will actually be blank because there's nothing there now. So. Um, let's go and just start with the top navigation because that one's very simple and you can just add some pages so we can add our home and contact in a sample page. <coughs> um, let me remove that actually. There. So um, let me save that now and then when we refresh our page you can see the pages we added and this one actually this uh, pending one doesn't have a title and that's why I turned it up pending and that's our home page so if I, I just need to add a label call this one home so we have our home and then contact us and sample page and you can adjust the order by dragging and dropping if you want or you can as you saw me do a second ago you can adjust the label if you want so for instance if you thought contact us was too long you can just have this be contact and save it so then it just shows contact up here, but then when you actually visit the page, it says contact us. So it's kind of a nice little thing to do. And then if you want to remove them, you can remove them as so by clicking the remove down there. <clears throat> so the main navigation, let's add some pages to that then. Um, I'm just gonna go add all the pages I have. And you can adjust the order. Let's go and remove some of these pages that have really long titles. And then if you want to add categories, you can do so here. So here are some of our categories that we've made for our posts earlier on. So our business category and etc. And if you want to have a drop down menu, it's super easy. You can just drag these things to the to the right slightly. You see how it, it's now indented. So now photography and racing will be under business. And you can see that little drop down arrow. And then you can keep doing multiple levels if you want as well. For example. So um, that's how to do drop down menus. And if you don't want the drop down menu, you can see me just unindenting and indenting them as you wish. So that's how to set up your menus. It's super easy. Just drag, drop, little indents, things like that. Um, and then you can get categories. And if you want a couple more options, you can do so under screen options. So for instance, if you want to look at the format, that'll give you formats as well. So if you wanted to have video, for example, let me save that to the, to the menu. <coughs> that'll show you all videos that have that video format. So those are the post formats, in other words, that I enabled under format. So these are post formats, so quotes, galleries, etc. If you want to link directly to those, you can do so as well. 